हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टॉपिक पी एन जंक्शन और पी एन जंक्शन डायोड सो फॉर दिस वी हैव टू नो दैट इफ यू हैव अ पी टाइप और एन एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर वी कैन फॉर्म अ पी एन जंक्शन बट इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट अ ब्लॉक ऑफ पी टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर एंड अ ब्लॉक ऑफ एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर वैन वी प्लेस दैम इन कॉन्टैक्ट दे फॉर्म अ पी एन जंक्शन दट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इट शुड बी अ सिंगल क्रिस्टल doped in specific manner that one half portion of it acts like a p type semiconductor and the other half behaves like an n type semiconductor or we can say that if we make a contact between p type and n type semiconductor such that its configuration remain continuous there is nothing in between them then that kind of junction is called pn junction so we can define pn junction as a single crystal it is a single crystal of germanium or silicon doped in such a way that one half of it act like a p type and other half act like n type semiconductor then the junction we get in between the two is called pn junction okay the junction between such kind of crystal is called pn junction or the boundary that we get or the region of transmission between n type and p type semiconductor material is called pn junction so pn junction refers to the boundary or region of transmission between p and n type in such crystal is called pn junction if such kind of crystal has two electrodes connected to it for example the p side and the n side if this is like this this is this is the p side and this is the n side and we have two electrodes connected to it anode and cathode then such device is called pn junction diode diode refers to two that means it has two electrodes two connections that's why we call it as pn junction diode and it is represented by the symbol with a triangle and a bar or a triangle and a straight line like this the triangular section represent p and this bar represent n section this is anode and this one is cathode so this is the symbol of pn junction diode now let's see the configuration of pn junction diode so for this we have to make a diagram so we know that if we have a pn junction or we are forming a pn junction on the p side of the semiconductor we have acceptor ions and holes present with them while in case of n type semiconductor we have donor ions and free electrons with them so these are free electron here dots represent electrons and these circles represent holes now we know the process of diffusion in which the particles move from higher concentration to lower concentration so in p section the concentration of hole is more than that of electrons while in n section the concentration of electrons is more than that of p section so holes from p p section and electrons from n section starts diffusing like this holes show diffusion towards n type and electrons show diffusion towards p type and because of this diffusion near the junction near this junction these holes and these electron get diffused and neutralized 
with each other now since they get diffused and become neutral so they create a space around the region in case of p type this region these holes get neutralized so only negative ions remains here means it gets some negative charge a small negative charge we can call it as delta negative and in n region these electrons get diffused and neutralized so only acceptor only donor ions these are the donor ions only donor ions remain in that case means it gets some delta positive charge so after a certain time when this diffusion go on because of this negative charge the further motion of electrons or the further diffusion of electrons because of this negative charge stops similarly because of this positive charge the further diffusion of holes towards n side will also stop and they create a neutral space here which is stopping the diffusion of these charge carriers and we call this neutral region as depletion region we name it as depletion region because the charge carriers in this region get depleted that's why we call it as depletion region and the setup of this negative and positive charge can be considered as a fictitious battery connected to it like this we can assume that there is a fictitious battery which is preventing the flow of charge carriers across this barrier and there set up a potential difference across this junction and it act as a barrier so this barrier is called potential barrier or sometimes we also call it as junction barrier also before the formation of this depletion region when the diffusion was going on so because of this di that diffusion we get a small current in the circuit that current is called diffusion current so here we have certain terms to define the first thing is depletion region so depletion region is the small region around the junction right this is the small region around the junction which is depleted of free charge carriers means there is no free charge carriers in that region and it has only immobile ions that are donor ions and acceptor ions there are no charge carriers in the vicinity of that junction and that region is called depletion region next thing is the barrier potential so the the accumulation of negative charge in p region and the accumulation of positive charge in n region it will set up a potential difference across the junction which act as a barrier this potential difference is called as barrier potential and is denoted by vb so we can define it as the potential difference set up across the junction which act as a barrier is called barrier potential and is denoted by vb the next point that we have to define is diffusion current now this diffusion current is the current that we get because of the diffusion of charge carriers so diffusion current is the current because of diffusion of majority charge carriers in the semiconductor if we see the flow or the diffusion of majority charge carrier then holes are moving from p to n like this and electrons are moving from n to p like this so the direction of diffusion current will be along the positive majority charge carriers that means the direction of diffusion current is from p to 
and this is the direction of diffusion current okay the next current that we get is the drift current which depends on the direction of external field applied means the battery that we have connected whether that con that is connected in which way that will be responsible for the direction of drift current so as per the way of applied external battery the working of this pn junction is divided into two categories first is called forward biasing and the second is called reverse biasing so for working we have two sections one is forward biasing other one is reverse biasing by forward biasing we means this p type semiconductor is connected to the positive terminal of the battery like this and the n type is connected to the negative terminal of the battery so if we have this kind of diode and we connect p type with positive n type with negative means similar similar then we call it as forward bias but if we connect it like this means p type with negative terminal and n type with positive terminal then we call it as reverse bias so the working in both cases is different that we have to study now so first uh, we are starting with forward biasing of pn junction or pn junction diode in that case the p type part of the diode is connected to the positive terminal like this of the external battery and n type is connected to the negative terminal of the battery means p type with positive n type with negative then we call it as forward bias now we know that there was a depletion region which was obstructing the diffusion of holes and electrons across that depletion region and a barrier potential was acting there which is denoted by vb or which is equal to vb the barrier potential vb act here and the direction of it or the polarity of it is like this this is the direction or polarity of vb which is acting in the depletion region across the depletion region suppose we have applied external battery of v volt like this so if we find the effective barrier potential for this region the effective barrier potential will decrease in such connection if we do forward biasing effective barrier potential will be vb minus v means this value will decrease because these are oppositely connected hence the energy barrier across the junction decreases since effective barrier potential decreases that means that barrier decreases the majority charge carriers that means holes from p and electrons from n side again starts to flow towards the junction since the barrier potential decreases barrier potential decreases that's why majority charge carriers begin to flow across the junction since these charge carriers start diffusing again towards the junction so they will enter the depletion region and because of that the width of depletion layer or the depletion region decreases because of the diffusion in fact this is actually not diffusion because it's not happening spontaneously it's a drift why it is a drift because we are applying external potential to it external force to it that's why it is going into that depletion region so the drift of electrons and holes in depletion region decreases its width since the depletion region decreases uh, we are getting more current now so we can say that the effective resistance across the pn junction also decreases as we are getting the more value of current so effective resistance across the junction it will decreases also as soon as this value v becomes greater than vb if the value v becomes greater than vb the majority charge carriers start flowing easily across the junction and set up a large value of current the current that we get in case of forward biasing is of the order of milliampere 
that we have to remember uh, the current that we get here is called forward current and it is of the order of milli ampere in case of forward biasing and as the current the current we are getting that is the forward current it will increase with increase in this voltage because as the voltage increases we that depletion barrier jo tha hamara that barrier voltage it will end and we get more value of current as the charge carriers can flow more easily now without that barrier so we get a large value of current and it is of the order of milli ampere in case of forward biasing now let's move to the second case that is reverse biasing so in case of reverse biasing the section p section of that diode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery or cell while n type semiconductor is connected to the positive that means the connection is like this suppose this is the external cell or a battery so we connect negative to the p type and positive to the n type and the barrier potential that we get it is of this polarity like this this is the polarity of potential barrier that already exist in the at the pn junction so now if we can see the diagram that these two are of same polarity and they support each other so when we get a connection of reverse biasing in that case barrier potential increases now the net barrier potential that charges are facing is equal to vb plus v this is effective barrier potential barrier potential is v b v b but we are applying v in the same polarity that's why effective barrier potential is v b plus v and that's why the energy barrier across the junction increases barrier across the junction will increase because of the reverse biasing since the barrier increases the majority charge carrier instead of going towards the junction they will move away from the junction and as they move away from the junction like holes from p section go like this and electrons from n section are attracted towards positive side so that's why the width of depletion layer increases since majority charge carriers flow away from the junction that's why these majority charge carriers will flow away from the junction that's why the width of depletion layer increases right so this is the third point that we have to know and since the depletion layer is increasing that's why the resistance of junction the effective resistance of the junction will also increase increase and we get a very large value for the resistance of pn junction since the resistance is large so there will be no flow of current no flow of current due to majority charge carriers i am mentioning here majority charge carriers because if i see minority charge carriers if we ob observe the minority charge carrier so in p these are electrons and in n these are holes this negative polarity for these minority electrons it will behave as forward because because of this negative polarity these minority charges electron and holes will move towards the depletion layer although the number is very small so we can get some current because of the diffusion of minority charge carriers as this kind of polarity supports the flow of minority charge carriers for minority charge carriers this potential behaves as a forward one so we can get some amount of current because of the minority charge carriers but because of majority charge carrier there is no flow of current and the current that we get from minority charge carriers or minority current we call it as reverse current it is very small and it is of the order of micro amperes this reverse current is of the order of micro ampere we also call it as leakage current reverse current or leakage current which is because of the flow of minority charge carriers towards the junction as this polarity of potential 
supports the flow or the diffuse or that flow of minority charge carriers towards the junction that way we get they can across the junction they can cross that junction and give us a reverse current or a leakage current of a very small order that is micro ampere next thing is the characteristics of pn junction diode so again in characteristics we have two types first is forward characteristics and the second one is reverse characteristic we also call them as vi characteristics of pn junction diode and in this we have two sections first is for forward biasing and the second one is for reverse biasing so in case of forward biasing as soon as the externally applied forward bias potential is increased the effective resistance of the junction decreases and the value of current is increasing as we have seen that in case of forward biasing jitna external potential zyada hoga utna zyada current we will get in milliamperes so the graph that we get is like this right this is the graph that we get for forward characteristics of pn junction di diode this graph we have formed between the forward bias voltage that we have applied externally and in the current that we get in milliamperes now this point from where the current starts to flow is called cut off voltage at this value of at this value of voltage the role of depletion layer ends that means before this before this voltage the depletion layer plays a dominant role in controlling the motion of charge carriers that means it was controlling the flow of charge carriers and we were not able to get a good value of current but after this the existence of that depletion region or depletion layer ends and current start increasing rapidly actually exponentially even for a very small increase in the voltage we get a large increase in current so the value for this is on the scale of milliampere like this so with a small increase in voltage of forward bias after this cut off voltage we get a large value of current and it increases exponentially and the resistance across the junction is quite low and majority charge carriers can flow easily across that junction above this voltage this voltage is called cut off voltage or threshold voltage also these are the vi characteristics in case of forward biasing if we talk about reverse biasing in case of reverse bias we were not getting any current because of the majority charge carriers there was no majority current present in the case of reverse bias as the effective resistance of the depletion layer is very high in case of reverse biasing but there is a leakage current present because of the minority charge carriers so this reverse conduction we call it as reverse conduction is because of those minority charge carriers that are diffusing across the junction and giving us the leakage current but as we increase the reverse bias in negative then in that case after a certain voltage the reverse voltage across pn junction reach to a very high value which is sufficient to cause a breakdown of the junction diode now to by the mean breakdown we mean that the bonds start breaking at this point and the number of majority as well as minority charge carriers start increasing so there is a rapid increase in the number of charge carriers because of which we get a large value of current sudden large value of current this is called breakdown region in breakdown region the breakdown of pn junction diode occur because of the high reverse voltage and because of that breakdown the number of charge carrier increases and that's why we get a large amount of current although it is less in comparison to that we are getting in forward biasing that was in milliampere but in reverse biasing we are getting the current in microamperes it still the value of leakage current increases by in the breakdown region and that increase in abrupt it abruptly increases because of the breakdown so this voltage at which this breakdown happen is called peak inverse voltage 
और जिनर ब्रेकडाउन वोल्टेज सो दैट वॉज द रिवर्स इन द फॉरवर्ड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ पी एन जंक्शन दायोर दैट्स ऑल वॉर द वीडियो फॉर फर्दर वीडियोज स्टेट यून एंड कीप स्टडिंग थैंक यू